So you'll need to be able to move around in mind test. And if you're seeing this for the first time, this is the video for you. Uh, I'll, once it's installed and it's running on your computer, you should be at this screen. And I'll show you how to get a world up and going so you can uh, work with this software. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, just create a new world and you can give it a any name you like. Um, we'll call this one uh, my, or let's see, uh, um, container, because what we're gonna be using this for is designing enclosures for our electronics, giving our electronics a body. You can make your environment look however you want. You can make it look flat if you like, a flat world, oops. Enclosure, we'll call it, we'll name it enclosure. So I don't want a flat world. I want just a regular fun world to run around in. And so now we'll go ahead and create that. Um, we need to configure it a little bit. And what I have is a mod. These are modifications or other code or commands we can add into this. And we're gonna use world edit. So we wanna enable world edit. I have a world edit installed right now, um, but you can find more or install more in a couple different ways. Uh, for example, you can come down here to this plus button. This is called content DB. You can click that. And um, so I can just type world edit and search. It's looking through games, we're gonna look through mods. And so yeah, there's world edit and then we can install it here. If you look online, there's such a um, open source community that there's not a lot of, um, sometimes of the, some of the tutorials you'll find show you a very difficult ways for installing things. So it's um, updated and now it's fairly easy to do some of this. Uh, there should be a way to configure. I think we're probably good. So we're gonna play the game. And this is gonna take us into the world and we can walk, run around. And it's created a desert for me. And so, okay, first thing we're doing, I'm using W. So if you press escape, it'll tell you the controls over here. W moves you forward, back, S is backward, space bar will make you jump, or if you're flying, it'll make you um, ascend. And so there's a few other things here. I is the inventory, that one's gonna be important. Um, so this is creative mode. Oh yeah, I'm gonna exit to the menu. That's the other thing that we need to check. We need to make sure this is, it is in creative mode right here. So we're good. Since we're using it as a um, the design, three-dimensional design tool, we don't wanna really be fighting off zombies or anything. Um, if I go to the inventory, this line are, is the line of um, materials I have for building. And, we, and this is a list up here, library of everything. And I can just start building in ice maybe. What is that? Oh, it's a lamp. Some silver sandstone. And I thought I saw something else I wanted in here. It's gonna turn night and this is a, this is a lamp. So there's some lighting nodes, these are called nodes. Uh, that's probably all I need for now. So I'll just find a little place where I can start building. If I um, click my mouse, it destroys voxels or nodes, and I can kind of cut out. Uh, if I right click, so right now down here, I press the number one, I've got whatever's in my uh, toolkit down there. If I press two, I now have a block of ice. Um, so if I right click or on my computer, I have a Mac. So I have to, if I double, if I use a two finger click, one finger click breaks, two finger click adds, or yeah, if you have a, it's easier to use this with a mouse. So it's very simple. I just built, I'm building a wall now. And just build slowly up. So what we can do, you know, as we're just learning right now, we're just learning how to 
um, move around in the environment. And as we learn, we can start thinking about like, what is our scale here, right? Uh, is this, um, is one block equal to uh, one millimeter or one meter? Uh, we can figure that out and probably each of these will be, well, I guess it all depends on how you wanna do it, but this will help you amazingly in thinking about how to, um, where to put your electronics where are wires coming in? Where are your buttons gonna be positioned? It tends to be one of the much more tricky problems in this class. So get, being able to get inside a very large, even if it's a rough 3D representation helps out a lot. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, you know, it's sort of uh, awkward trying to just run and jump on things and build. So I wanna be able to fly around. If I press K, I think it said, did it say, all right, so I'm pressing K, it says disabled, enabled, okay. So now I can, oh wait, K again, disable, fly mode disabled. Okay, so I don't have the privilege to fly. And so, but I'm, you know, it's my game so I can do anything I want. So our first command we're gonna learn is how to give ourselves a privilege. And if I press the forward slash, it opens up this command line or this is called the chat box or chat window, but it's a, command line. And I use the command grant me, I guess I just grant me fly. And yeah, it's one of my privileges. Now if I press K, I can just fly around and I'm holding the space bar now and flying up. And then shift makes me go down. So that's great. So I can fly another privilege to give yourself because it's sort of, you know, it's kind of like it can definitely go faster if we wanted to. So the next one I do is grant me fast and you can turn that off with J. And so J, it's enabled and I'm going really quick. All right. So now I can go over here and, you know, build no problem. The other thing that you're gonna run into, it's gonna turn into night at some point. Right now it's, it seems like the middle of the day. Sun, it's noon right now. And we're going to want to set time. So the other thing I usually do right away when I get into this is uh, grant me set time. And to set time, you'll just do something like time, and then you'll enter in a number. I just do six. I don't even know how many zeros that is. Oh, if you go into chat and you press the up button, it'll cycle through all the commands that you've used before, just like Linux, or if you're in a Linux shell. Uh, so grant me set time, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, Six, 60,000, we'll set it to I think 6 a.m. I don't know what the time convention is yet. This is actually still pretty new to me too. If you've played Minecraft, you this is very familiar because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a clone or an open source Minecraft. Okay, other things we wanna do. So this is gonna get cumbersome, especially if you're like, okay, one of these does equal one millimeter. Uh, that means I'm gonna be building all the way out there. I mean, I want something really big because the more detail, the more ability I have to um, kind of plan and decide where things are gonna go. So this is where world edit comes in and it's, um, really powerful and wonderful to use. Uh, the first thing way you can do it is I'm gonna fly way up here and you can explore all this. And uh, there are ways to bring in uh, USGS, US Geological Survey elevation data. And so if you wanted to you know, create a three-dimensional model of your uh, house and the whatever 10 square miles around you, you can you can do it. I haven't done it yet, <laughs> but I have messed around and played around with a lot of um, uh, GIS in my undergraduate work, but that's another story. Okay, so to use world edit, if we come over here to this 
crafting one. There's after installing this mod, you'll see that this uh, world is here, and that's the world edit menu. And I have a whole bunch of things I can do. I'm going to try just a. Uh, actually, I want to create a dome. This kind of looks kind of cool. I'm going to create a dome down over here by the beach. Okay, create a dome. All right, and it says cobblestone. How about glass? Yeah, glass five. Um, so we're going to pretend one block is an inch and I want a 12, I want a foot a dome the size of a foot. And it says, okay, hollow sphere, solid sphere. Okay, a hollow dome because I want to be able to get inside of it. And Oh, up here in the top left, it tells me no position has been selected. So with world edit, um, you have to tell it, you have to give it some uh, um, information about where you want to put it. And how you do that is um, a couple ways to do it. I think the easiest way is to use the um, um, command line here and then just do slash and do another slash and one. And it's just placed that right where I was at, this one. And so that is a, that voxel right there has been selected. And I'm gonna go ahead and now do my hollow dome. All right, and there it is. I'm gonna do another one. This is gonna be a light. So I'm gonna do and do that again. I'm going to use my lamp. Yeah, one of those. And this time I'm going to do, say I have a four inch light bulb. It's a sphere. So I'm just going to put it right there. Ooh, that's going to, when night comes, that's going to look cool. And I can't get out. I can just push my way out of there. All right, so some other things you can do with world edit that is very fun. Uh, we can use 3D models. Let's see, I've got one. Oh, I have the bloody, I think that one might be good. I can't remember which is which. I've been playing around with a lot of, okay, so. Here is a bloody, a model of the bloody hall. I don't even remember working on this one. Time 60,000, all right. Yeah, so this is, it looks like I started working on it and kind of gave up. Yeah, so I have this model of Letty Hall. Our, um, uh, yeah, I haven't done much with it. I have a really nice one in a nicer one in Minecraft. And our our buildings person, I was able to get the schematics from our buildings person and create. You know, I have the dimensions and I drew it out really quickly in some three D modeling software. Uh, put it into a format that was the same format you'd use for a 3D printer. And then I translated it into a model that I could bring in to here. And I've got, and there's a huge Arduino somewhere. Anyway, so this is what you can do with mind test. The other thing that is very cool is you can, um, run your model as a server and invite people to join and you can co-edit models, build models together. Really fun potential. <laughs> uh, I've run around on some of these servers and they are uh, a couple of people that I've met there. They're just really warm and friendly and they want to help you with the server um, or help you um, get oriented to the rules and the community. And if it is a game, what are the rules of the game? It's really great. Uh, so we'll have one of these up and, and we'll start working together to share and communicate what kinds of 
products and devices we're building and what our enclosure is going to look like. Um, it's the best way for now.